Good evening, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. I admit I am deviating a little bit with keeping uh, my word with what the next video is going to be, but this is actually, I feel this is an important feature of SDR Uno, so that's why I'm deviating. Uh, I'm going to go over the software notch filters built into SDR Uno because it's a really powerful feature that I believe is often overlooked because it it's configured and controlled well, it's, it's controlled from the RX control panel here, and it's configured via the EX control panel, and it's visually shown within the AUX SP, which is here. And what this notch filter does is it notches out audio frequencies. It's actually going to take away uh, sound from the passband, and the passband is in between these two red markers. So let's, let's demonstrate it. There's four of them within SDR Uno notch one two three and four and then you have a, a notch lock feature which we won't go over tonight we can discuss that uh in another video but just the the first four you really i don't think you're going to use four notches uh i've used three at the most in however many years i've been into sdrs and some sdr front ends have an automatic notch feature sdr uno does not I prefer manual notch filters, which SDR Uno has. So let's see if I can demonstrate this properly and not confuse you. And maybe this will help you with something that you listen to, especially in shortwave. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit. And let me get my windows back. Hello. In the Zanka language. All right, as I said, we're working with, let's lower this. We're working with the RX control, the EX control, and the AUX SP. Now, in previous videos, I said to you to check the bandwidth of the transmission. And this is a little narrow. We can adjust via the filter. But let's say if it's a wide transmission, it's going greater than what this is. And there's something else passing through with that transmission like this ready station here you hear that noise right over here let's notch that out so first thing we do is we select notch filter number one we hold the shift key on the keyboard left click on your mouse on the first peak here and we just notched out the first uh offending noise if it's not wide enough, just increase the bandwidth for the first notch. So you can narrow it or make it really wide. And you do that by placing your mouse over the BW, which means bandwidth, the bandwidth of the notch. The, 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 how can I explain it? It's the bandwidth of the notch. <laughs> The greater the number, the wider it's going to be. The, the smaller the number, the more narrow that notch is going to be. So let's put it back to the default of 50. And let's enable the second notch, which click notch number two. Shift key over, uh, hold down your shift key and right click on your mouse for the second notch. Now let's disable them. and re-enable them. Okay, let's mute this. Now you also have notches three and four. Notches three and four do not give you a visual, a visual representation in the AUX SP. But it, if I enable notch three, you're gonna see a scoop. Just like that little scoop here. Let's see if we can zoom in. And we'll slide over. Now watch this, that's notch one, that's notch two. And you'll see the bandwidth adjustment here. As you see, as I, increase it or decrease it it controls the amount of that notch that's which is really the notch bandwidth all right let's go back to zooming out a bit and enabling notch number three and it just notched right there as i said before notches three and four do not give a visual representation like notches one and two but it's very easy to see you can just make the bandwidth like uh let's say 100 hertz and you'll see it right there and you bring your mouse here to where it says frequency and you can click your left mouse button. It would help if I was doing the right notch. You can click the mouse button, uh, left click and right click to move that notch filter, that notch 
uh, around. Or you can just use your mouse wheel, which will do it, I believe, down to the uh, first decimal place, which is here. And mouse clicking is hundreds. And the same goes for notch number four. And let's take a look and see where notch number four goes. Okay, it's right over there. We see the, I see the scoop right here. And I can just do the same thing. Increase the bandwidth of the notch. Decrease the bandwidth of the notch. And move it up and down the passband, which is here. So let's disable these. And play with the notch filter. All right, we did it with the Rudy sta uh, with the Rudy station. Let's see if I can find a see if I can find a shortwave station that has something actually passing through the passband. So let's uh, let's navigate a little bit. And if I don't find anything, this is that's how you use the notch filters. Very very easy and it's very powerful. All right, let's see if anything's happening here. Okay. Very weak transmission. And that high pitch sound is right there. So let's let's notch that out. Hold down my shift key. And place it right on that little heterodyne. Now you could adjust your filter. Let's uh, let's lower the volume and disable the notch. I could adjust my filter, which is an option, or I could just give myself a little bit of fidelity by increasing the filter and notching it out. And let's see if we can find another station that we can demonstrate the notch filter. Nothing really going on. Let's go a little further up the band. Vendiendo sueños que no se han realizado. Que cuál una persona. Okay, found one. Station on, let's see where the actual carrier is. The carrier is here, so it's 9505. And this could be another broadcast that's bleeding through a little bit, but let's notch out that, that heterodyne right there. Now, as I said, you have the four notch filters here, notches one and two, uh, give you a visual representation of where those notches are in the aux SP. Notches three and four do not, but you can easily see them by looking in the passband of where they're scooping out uh, actual uh, audio in the spectrum here. So if I widen the bandwidth, let's take off one, two, three, let's find four, four is right here. Go to N4, which is notch four, adjust your bandwidth, 50 is the default, and you can use your mouse wheel for uh, the single digit increment and decrement here, or mouse wheel, uh, not mouse wheel, mouse click, uh, left click and right click to adjust it in the hundreds. And you see it's moving up and down the passband right here. Just follow along right there. As I click up, 
it's going further down. If I right click, it's going back up within the passband. All right, now, just to let you guys know with the digital decoding, let's stop this. I did a quick poll uh, on the in the SCR Uno Facebook group of what everybody's using for digital decoders. And everybody, uh, the top three were FL Digi, Multi-PSK, and WSTJX. So that's what I will cover for digital decoding. So have that software ready if you want to follow along. All right, guys, 7-3 uh, for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you guys know what to do. Leave it in the comments, and I'll get right back to you. Bye-bye.